Hi, I'm Paula Lise. Today we will create a series of Unreal Animal Prints inspired by the work of artist Kenonyuak Ashivak. Let's get started. For this project, you will need the following materials. Watercolor paint, a paintbrush, and some water to paint backgrounds for our prints. A pencil, sketch paper, polystyrene, cardboard, tape, scissors, and glue to create our printing plates. And finally, printing ink, a brayer, and an inking plate for printmaking. Kanuyawak was born in Canada in 1927. In her Inuit language, there was no word for art. Instead, they would say that it was a process of turning something from real to unreal. Kenyawak didn't make pictures that looked exactly like real plants, animals, or people. Instead, she used her imagination to envision unique images, which she represented into artwork. You can learn more about Kenyawak's life and art by following the links shared in the slideshow. She's also one of 25 diverse artists featured in my new book, Be a Creative Changemaker. This book is a celebration of amazing artists from around the world and includes detailed biographies, with illustrations by Bambi Ramsey, as well as related art activities inspired by each artist. For this activity, we will use our imaginations to draw our own unreal animal. Begin by envisioning an animal in your mind. Like Kenuyuak, think about how you can capture how that animal makes you feel. When looking at her art, you might notice that Kenuyuak created a lot of pictures of owls. That's because she felt that owls were happy and she liked to make everything happy. Once you have an idea, start drawing it on a piece of sketch paper. You can choose to draw part of the animal or all of it. You might even want to include plants, people, or even other animals within and around your paper. Whatever you decide, try to fill up as much of the space as you can. Also, consider adding textures and other details. I decided to create an image of a deer that I saw recently during one of my morning runs. To me, deers remind me of feeling strong and full of energy. Once you've completed your drawing, it's time to transfer it onto a sheet of polystyrene. Place your drawing on top of the polystyrene and use tape to attach it to the top. In order to transfer your drawing, you need to retrace it. I prefer to use a colored pencil so that I can see what parts I still need to trace. As you trace over your drawing, make sure to push down firmly. That way your image transfers onto the polystyrene below. Once you've finished tracing, lift your drawing to check that your image has transferred. You will see a faint impression of your drawing on the surface of the polystyrene. If it's there, you can carefully remove your drawing. Then use a pencil to trace your drawing once more, but this time directly onto the polystyrene surface. Make sure that you push down firmly enough that you can feel the indent with your fingertips. After transferring your drawing onto the polystyrene, it's time to start creating your printing plate. Find a sheet of cardboard similar in size to your drawing. Carefully cut out all of the pieces to your animal. This can be tricky, especially if you have lots of small and thin pieces like my antlers. If you do accidentally cut a piece off, don't worry. Arrange it along with all of the other elements onto the cardboard. The type of printing we're doing is also known as relief printing, which is just one of the many printing techniques that artists like Kenny Walk use. Many of her printing designs were actually carved into stone. Once you've finished cutting everything out, use glue to attach it to the cardboard surface. It can take up to several hours for the glue to dry, so you might want to wait before printing. While waiting, you can start to paint your background for your prints. Kenuyuak often printed on white backgrounds, but the great thing about art is that we can choose what we want our artwork to look like. I want to print my Unreal Animal onto brightly colored paper. I decided to paint using analogous color schemes. Analogous colors are located next to each other on the color wheel. Like mine, your watercolor palette might already have analogous colors next to each other. Either way, paint one or more sheets of paper to print on. Experiment with using different color schemes and watercolor techniques. Just make sure to wash your brush in between to keep your colors clean. Finally, it's time to print our Unreal Animals. Get out your printing ink, inking plate, and brayer. Apply a small amount of ink into the center of your inking plate. I'm using a sheet of plexiglass and I've drawn on a rectangle using a permanent marker to remind me to keep the ink within that space. 
Gently roll your brayer up and down and side to side until the ink rolls smoothly and evenly. You should hear a shh, shh sound when it's ready. Next, carefully roll the ink onto your polystyrene drawing. Make sure that you cover the entire surface with ink. Try to avoid getting any ink onto the cardboard. Now it's time to print. Place your paper paint down on top of your printing plate, doing your best to center the image. Then use a baron or your fist to gently rub the back of your paper. Make sure you massage the entire paper so that the ink fully transfers. You can always lift a corner to check. Once the image has fully transferred, gently peel the paper back and place it in a safe place to dry. The great thing about printmaking is that you can make multiple copies of your print. Try printing on different colored papers and choose your favorite one to share. I hope you've enjoyed learning about Kenanyoak Oshavak and creating a series of unreal animal prints inspired by her art. Until next time, adios artistas!